Lesson Study is a professional learning model that teachers engage in to systematically examine their practice with the goal of becoming more effective. This examination centers on teachers working collaboratively on a small number of study lessons. Working on these study lessons involves planning, teaching, observing, and critiquing. This video was created to introduce teachers to the process by sharing the experience of secondary school teachers as they engaged in lesson study. This video can be used to gain a better understanding of how to conduct a lesson study in your own school. A lesson study begins by recruiting group members. When the group is made up of trusted and committed colleagues, the concept of lesson study is more likely to spread over time. I have my objectives, I have four of them. I want during this or after. Lesson study focuses on specific and overall curriculum expectations, outlining long-term goals for student development. So when the students come in tomorrow, what's going to happen is I've already talked to them that they're After giving background information, the teacher who is conducting the lesson shares it. The team considers the student task and anticipates students' thinking. The group decides on a data collection plan, outlining various roles for each individual, which vary depending on the team's goals. It has been a weekend since I've told them, and then I think at this point, um, I really would appreciate you guys sort of pointing out things, because the whole purpose of this is to take this activity and make it better. Do you think that this might help um, keep, or have things speed up a little bit, because you're the um, class manager? It, would it be possible to have a student keep track of the numbers? The student would be counting and Record you're there okay, trying that's a good to point. Keep, yeah. you know, keep the, getting the resources back on one side, that deer on the other, and then the students are keeping track. I did that one year when a student was, again, like you had a yeah. sprained ankle or something, so it just worked out well. Even bring in a smart board and do graphing or have something bigger visually so if you're working with them, to, they could maybe go up to it. I like that idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm ready for Okay. <laughs> But I mean, is a, a suggestion for fun. a graphing program? Do you have a graphing program? Yeah, I was just in um, Chaz's room and he was using it for graphing. You could use different markers and circle parts, like as oh, you analyze then I the like graph. That. Yeah, it just absolutely. Then I need to book. Like I think we can. I think it can be done really easily. If can, you can get a period to prep it, like to try it, whatever. What are you off to? Two. 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 So maybe you could try it out. Yeah. I just need you to show me how yeah. to do it. That's a great idea. Do you have follow-up uh, questions? Yes, now that we've actually done this as a class and I've shown them how, um, how to analyze their data in a graph form, I actually give them an assignment. I, I don't know, I'm just throwing this out there that maybe someone, um, while they're observing, you found that? Yeah, okay. could possibly look at ways to cut so that it does fit in one period. That gives me more instructional time, right? I would think maybe looking for comprehension because you're just going to ask questions, okay, what are the limiting factors? A lot of times you always get the same students always answering the questions. And that way you can look and see maybe the ones that don't participate orally as well in class. You know, are, do they, are they understanding? Are, are, do, they, do they understand even if they don't, you know, actively participate? Okay. Um, that may be one to look at. Can we assess that by having them write a summary, maybe for homework, of what they've learned? And we can possibly do a KWL if it maybe it doesn't eat up too much time. Like as bell work, like through the course of a lesson, maybe start off for bell work, have them start a KWL, and then just go over it for a couple of minutes at the start of the lesson, get them outside doing the activity, and as what they learned, have a write a summary for a homework. How would you set that up for this then? The next step is conducting the lesson. One member of the team teaches the lesson while the rest of the members closely observe student learning and behavior to gather the agreed upon data.
When the post-lesson colloquium occurs, it follows a structured agenda that typically starts with comments from the instructing teacher. One member of the team should serve as a facilitator. We're going to have three parts to this colloquium. The first part, Annette's just going to reflect on the lesson and perhaps give us her impression of what went well and what could be improved upon. The second part will go through the questions or the evidence that we were looking for and just relay what we saw in a very objective manner. And then the last part, we will all talk and we'll discuss what we thought of the lesson and perhaps suggest modifications for next time. Okay. I thought it went relatively smoothly, even the smart board, which you know, we had decided yesterday I would do. Annette continues to debrief her perspective of the lesson. Uh, what I was looking for were signs of engagement, student engagement, student participation. And I uh, was in charge of looking for efficiency, so um, your numbers made. I was basically, basically calculating how much time you spend at each activity and seeing how efficient it, uh, you worked at it. Generally, it seemed very efficient, uh, 10 minutes per bell work at the very beginning. I was trying to take, a, uh, take notes on the questions that students were asking. The lesson study is not about teacher evaluation, but to share data on students' responses to the lesson. Feedback is given in an objective manner. You know what, well, though, guys? That'll be perfect for tomorrow. Because scientific method, when you teach that section, right, and you go through and you analyze data and you look at a graph of what could have been changed in this experiment or what could have been altered or what factors didn't we think about. So that's a good way to look at the scientific method when you go through did you find? Yeah. Did you find that our presence there affected? Did you notice they behaved any differently? Or? Not as many kids put their hand up as they usually do. And that, were they a lot quieter with asking their questions. Yes, that's like that was crazy how quiet they, they were. Seem, they seem to become more comfortable because I made the observation that for the first question that you asked in terms of the analysis, I think there were maybe only two hands. Mm -hmm. that went up. And then the second question, I think there were like five or six hands that went up. So, it, you know, I think the comfort level did increase. Maybe if we talk about how uh, positive this, especially myself, how positive this was and not, how non-threatening I think that more teachers would be willing to do it. Mm -hmm. I also don't think, like you said, it's just to make you better. I don't think this is at all lesson studies at all intended to make the one teacher better. I think we were all oh, reflecting yes. on our yes. own classroom oh, practices sorry, every yes. step of the yeah. way. So I think we all are growing through this um, we, process. We were in there vicariously. Yeah. You. When you were teaching, we were envisioning ourselves. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know. that's one of those things, unless you go on your prep, you don't really see what other teachers no. do. Yeah. So now I get to see, you know, whether it's something that's time-saving for instructional purposes or just going, whoa, I've never done that. That really works well. You know, I'm actually learning to improve my, you know, best practices kind of thing as well, you know. Especially, you know, you guys have more experience than some of, some of us do, so you're kind of, you know, there's a lot to learn from wisdom. After each team member has had a turn to present, the colloquium may move into a discussion format. Once the team has established comfort with the process, the team might consider bringing a student in to provide feedback. A student's perspective is likely to shed additional light on the effectiveness of the lesson.